Yeah, today we're gonna ask all of your questions. Answer them all, exactly. How is it to get into life together again? I think they love their mum more than me. Do you have any sort of timeline on us all being together in the UK? You not serious. You are aging old. <laughs> us sitting down to film the Q&A we planned to do it weeks ago. It has as a been, family. As a family. It has been just really, really tricky to all be free together. This is the second time I've seen Josh in two weeks. So yeah, things have been a little bit chaotic. But we finally managed to all get down to try and answer some of your questions. Yeah, today we're gonna ask all of your questions. Answer them all, exactly. So, so you better subscribe to our channel. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. Thumbs up. Anyway, on recording this video, we have over a hundred comments on our post asking for questions. So we're going to do our best to answer as many as we can, but we are actually going to do this Q&A in two parts. So this is part one. And before we start, I thought we could quickly introduce ourselves and who we are. So who have we got over the other end? Daddy. Josh. Yeah. George. Yeah, yeah. George. Hang on, let them do themselves. Mm -hmm. What's your name? George. George. Then we've got? James. James. Then we've got? Daddy. Who? Who? Daddy. Daddy. Then we've got? Adam. And finally, me. Emily. Emily. And I am mum or mummy. Anyway. First, we've got a few comments just showing support in different ways, and we just wanted to say Ooh. that we really, really appreciate these. Thank you! So, when we obviously asked um, for questions, it was quite soon after everyone was quite poorly, and so we got a few questions about how everyone is and whether they are better, and yes, I mean, everyone got over the malaria, over the COVID, and they've also gained so much weight, so they lost a lot of weight being sick, um, the only one that we're having a little bit of trouble with gaining weight is actually James and we are looking into it, we are deworming him again and we're just trying to see why he's not really gaining all his weight back but otherwise we're all doing really well, aren't we? Yes! yes. Okay, you ready guys? We're going to take it in turns to answer this, or at least a couple of us. So, what was the thing we all missed about each other when we lived apart? What do we miss most? What's we miss most is being together. Being together as a family? Yes. George, what, what do you miss most? Football. Huh? Ah, and football. <laughs> or playing football with miss? Adam or what? What do you miss when mummy and Adam were not around? When we were in the UK? Me. Yes. I miss going go on the sport. With him. I don't quite think you're getting the question here. When Mummy and Adam were in the UK, what did you miss most about us? No work at home. Okay, doing homework with Mummy? Yes. All right. Daddy, what did you miss most? I miss... I miss the love. Cuddles from these, those two. And also this togetherness as a family. I missed all the noise, all the children disturbing me all day and all night. Now, I also miss all the cuddles and the love and just the chaos. Lots of questions about how we are adjusting to being back together. How is it to adjust to life together again? Um, what's been the biggest challenge? How are the kids being back together? How is Adam adjusting to life together? So let's ask Adam this first. Like, being back together, what have you been finding quite tricky maybe? Because because um, because you don't spend I feel like mommy's not gonna spend time with me too so that's why uh, mm. Adam's finding it quite tricky to share mommy aren't you yes yeah he's definitely he's wanting mommy's attention but he gets a lot of my attention a lot if not the most I'd say mm. but otherwise how about these kids how do you think these kids have adjusted daddy they are very happy now these days more I think they love their mum more than me. Do you love your mum more than me? No, I don't love you. Because, yeah, they are happier. I just think they need both. It's, we would bring different things, you know? But yeah, I think that overall they're doing really well. And in our well. next video, yeah? 
We're gonna tell you about how we met our family. We will do that. We'll do a family story at some point. We will. Yes. Right. But um, I said generally, everyone's adjusted really, really well. Um, ups and downs. Like we had a lot of comments, Adam, saying, "Is Adam really unhappy?" It's just I'm um, finding it very hard to share mummy. Mm -hmm. But actually, what you guys aren't seeing is all the ways that Adam's behaviour has improved because, yeah, lots of good things are happening too, aren't they? Yeah? Yes. Yes, but we will probably do a whole other video in a little while all about Adam and how he's doing. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I reckon so. Right. Okay, this is the question. I don't have an answer to this one. How long... Will we be staying in Uganda? Is it a permanent or a temporary move? Um, yeah, do we have any sort of timeline on us all being together in the UK? How long are we going to be here for? You don't know. We Forever. don't know. The soon now and get things get sorted is... We'll all go to England as a big family. That is obviously still kind of the hope. There's so much to it now. I think this is the first time in my life I have actually no idea what to do or what is best for our family or what I want or what it's we want. It's best for our family to leave, yeah? And then they come to England with us. Yeah, I know. That would be, that would be good, but there's lots of... It's just very... It's complex, let's put it that way. The changes in the visa situation in the UK as well. All I know is we booked temporarily. We booked return flights for April. I'm pretty sure we will not be getting on those. Anyway, which leads to, and like you just mentioned about things getting done here, Josh, uh, questions about the adoption, any progress so far with the adoption, any insight um, in what we need to do. We're still stuck on the same problem. <laughs> things are still not great, but that's most, my even, while I'm not around, I'm trying to go around offices or and see if we can get things sorted. Exactly. I'm like hardly seeing Josh. Probably not an awful lot more than I would be if I was in the UK. Because, because it's so rare. Because we don't see Josh that often. So this is exactly why I thought it's better for Adam and I to be out here because I am home, I'm here with all the kids whilst Josh is really trying to get stuff done. Unfortunately, he's not able to entirely focus on the adoption because we've got always lots of other things going on as well, but he is able to dedicate a lot more time to it than he did before. So although we're not really making many improvements yet. We have a very big family. Right, Josh. And actually, it's interesting that a minute ago you said we should stay here forever because the next question is all about moving to the UK. Racism is real. The fact is black people are treated differently. Does Josh feel comfortable around relocating to the UK? Um, Josh loves Uganda. Does Josh love Uganda too much to leave? He seems passionate about supporting his community. Um, do I have worries about how you and the kids will settle into the UK? Sit down. You have to smile like that. Be normal. So Josh, these questions are kind of directed to you, and yeah, you give me your opinion. You tell everyone what your thoughts are. I would love a good life for my family, so if the option of going to the movie in the UK is the best, then why not? I think there's pros and cons. There's pro Obviously, if me and Josh could, we could we'd mash up Uganda and UK and make a perfect country, because neither country is perfect. Um, yeah something like the racism in the UK until Josh is there to experience it and see whether it's something he can tolerate. Yeah, like he can't tell from here. Mm. Um, but, and this isn't, this isn't the same. I'm not saying it's the same. But even here, because of Josh's hair, do you not get treated differently? <laughs> like I know that's not the same at all, but Josh says he always gets targeted. Yeah, I also get treated here sometimes not in a good way because of my dreads. So yeah, before I reach to the UK and experience what is there, I can't talk about racism because it's mm. everywhere. If and I'm not not remotely saying it's as bad that situation as it is in the UK. I'm just saying that no country is perfect. There's different problems everywhere. Um, um, and but and the kids, I don't worry at all about them settling in. Like. Adam, the kids are so resilient, honestly. That's not an issue. George, Tally, and James. 
what are you looking forward to the most about if we finally get to the UK? What are you looking forward to the most about going to the UK? We'll start with James. Would you like some examples? It could be you're excited about going to school in the UK. It could be you're excited about seeing snow. It could be that you're excited about meeting Nanny and Grandad. It could be that you're excited about going on a train. It could be so many different things. So what are you excited about, Jim? Hmm. Loud. Go to, to go to school in the UK. Okay, Tally and George, I, don't just copy my ideas, you say. What are you most excited George, what are you excited? Sweet football, yeah. To football. What, to join the football, the football team in the UK? Yes. Okay, and Tally, what about you? Mm-hmm. About going to England, what would you like the most? I'll ask you, even though it's about the others, what would you be most excited about to take them, everyone else to the UK? It's about all of us being united to the old together. Yeah. I tell you what, I would love us all to be there and all to have a big snow fight one yes. day it snows. You know it's even snowing right now in the UK. Shall I show you the video? Look. Got amber in the snow. Snowing. <laughs> Do you know, these kids are being so quiet right now, but that is not a good representation of how they usually are. Okay, and then people are asking about the visa increase and if this is going to change our situation and what we're able to do, and honestly, I don't know. <coughs> no, it's hard, but you still keep pushing. Exactly, we're just, we're just kind of just going with it at the moment. Yes, mommy and daddy are working very hard to get money. <laughs> very hard. <laughs> so yeah, we're just trying to push forward and then just take it as it comes, I guess, at the moment. I, it's actually really, really hard to not know exactly what the future holds. Um, but try not to stress too much about it and to just, yeah, we will see. Okay, the pets. Will the animals be able to come to the UK with us too if we go? Only one will. What? All... Both of them will. Yeah, who are you going to leave behind? Who are you choosing to leave? I want to... I want, <laughs> I want to take Lucky, Kofu and Toto. Yeah, well, so, all of the dogs. Yeah, well, Lucky, Lucky might go hopefully to technically his owner rather than to us. But um, yeah, we definitely... We and in England we'll treat our dogs very well. Well, hell, well, I think we treat them quite well here, don't we? Yes, but the problem is they don't have them there every single day, yeah? They have food very late. So in England, <laughs> they don't have... Adam's calling us out here. But we feed them every day, though. Yes, we do. Yeah, we do, we do. But yeah, we would not leave our babies behind. No, we wouldn't leave our best dogs behind. What? Go, 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 go. Saves us. Cobalt is our protection dog, isn't he? He is. He keeps us safe, right? Yes. Yeah. And Toto is whenever he barks, yeah, that's a signal he's telling us that something's gonna come and attack us. Or no? Or does he? Toto totally just lets us know that someone's coming, and then Kobu lets that person know they're not welcome, right? Yes. Right. They're both very protective dogs. They are. They're and that's why we love them. We do. Right. A few questions about our life in Uganda. Here we go. I'm going to ask Tally this to see if she can tell me if this is this case. Have we ever been on a safari, Tally, and seen elephants? Have we done that here in Uganda? Mm-hmm. Have we been on a safari and seen elephants in Uganda? Have you ever been? No, we haven't. No, yes, yes. You're, on about, you're on about the zoo. No. Safari is when you go in a car. Yes, and you see and elephants like, in the wild. And like said, you go in a car, yeah, and then they have a... And then you see lots of animals, and sometimes exactly. in the real ones in the and wild, dwarfs, yeah. Yeah. If, if or peckers, yeah. When they, when if you have food, yeah, they would like steal your food. What are you on about? If a packer, yeah? alpaca, you don't find an alpaca in there. If they in came, the if they country. came to your car, yeah. Take everything. The answer to that is no. We have never been on safari or anything. I no. would love to. Um, and I'd love to take the kids. Um, one key problem. Money. Money. How do we manage the heat, the hot weather and the mosquitoes? <laughs> we manage because we have Mummy, yeah? yeah? She 
So we have those things which close, yeah? And then no mosquitoes. He means the mess on the windows. Yes, the so, mess. But to be honest, in this area where we've moved, we are so lucky. Yeah, we are so lucky the house has, there is no mosquitoes. No. Yes. We don't and, see much mosquitoes. And we're, no we're, mosquitoes. we're starting to organize and the house. Mosquito mesh in windows, so we, we make sure we close them. I see, like, early. I see like one mosquito a week, if that. And then the heat, guys, what do we have in the house to help with the heat? Which is not oh, on right yeah. now. Yeah, it's not on right now, is it? Why do you it's have too noisy. What do you have for the heat? For the heat. For the heat, for, the for, hot, the heat. for how hot it is. What do we have to keep us cool? We have the van. We have the van, but we've had to turn it off to do this video, which I think is why we are all absolutely baking, aren't we? I'm not baking. You're not, I am. <laughs> do you see, it's not even that hot. Mm. Actually, if you leave your little body mm. like this, yeah? Mm. When you put your hands up, yeah? You can like feel the cold coming to mm. you. Right, darling. Okay. What are the biggest differences between life in England and life in Uganda? Because in England, from my perspective, in England, as well. the the in England there's not bombs and anything. Do we have bombs going on here? <laughs> no. <laughs> but I'd say the di biggest difference is number one, the temperature. There we go. Yes, that's in one. England yeah. it's cold, and in Uganda it's hot, and the difference is we. We have money, yeah, in in, in England, yeah. And um, our money no. when that have a, a, a big house. <laughs> we live in a bigger house in England, yes, yes. because we live in Nanny and Granddad's house, and here we're in a two bed flat. But biggest difference is, I'd say, the way of life. Like in, it's quite hard. I'm I'm actually quite a go go person. In England, in England, there's lots of snacks. If you imagine, if you I, I, open, not the, not you open the cupboard, you boom, there's 1,000 snacks. That's because and we live with Nanny and Granddad. Yes. That's not because and it's every England, single Nanny. day, I, I go into the closet, yeah, and take food whilst our, my, our Nanny's not looking. Um, so Adam, what Adam is saying is actually Nanny and Granddad's house versus here rather than England. But um, yeah, for me, it's the way of life. Like in the UK, it's very fast paced, and here, much lower, um, which is both good and bad. I do quite like that everyone's got more time for everyone here, um, but it is harder to get stuff done. Okay, Josh, this is for us. What is our lo what is each of our lo love languages? I I asked you this before. You asked me. Yeah, I can't remember what mine is to be honest. Um, no, no, I like physical touch and I don't know. Me too. A and acts of service probably. Doing doing something for me. What do you like? Physical touch? Okay, so it's, it's physical touch, there's acts of service, there's words of affirmation, there's gift giving. What's the last one? I don't remember. People would like to see more videos just of us two. We did do the Valentine's one. Um, as we said at the beginning of this video, we are just not together that much at the moment. So we would love to do that as well. <laughs> but we are not even spending any time we together. We have much time no. Yeah, but soon, we will, if we have enough weddings, we will go on a Ferrari. No, we will. A Ferrari? A Ferrari. A Ferrari? No. <laughs> a, 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 Josh. Next question. <clears throat> when are you getting married? I'm still planning. There's certain yet. things which I need to do. Should mommy and daddy get, get married? Yes. Should we? we get yes. Married. Should mommy and daddy get married? Some demands. No, Tally thinks, thinks no. They should get married. Tally said we shouldn't get married. We should they should. Get married. No. They should, should get, get married. married. They should get married, that way they are together. Okay Josh, do you work? What do you do for a job? First is that people think I don't work. A lot of people always I like, see comments, people saying Josh is just waiting for Emily to give him money. But to be honest, the way I do a lot of things is sometimes even more than work. And because I have to, like now I'm, I've not been with my family, but 
had to go around like every day, every day to do some stuff, both for us and the organization and everything. So and for, and I work a lot and I have also some small other small small businesses which one day you see in the videos hopefully. And and he's not just working but he's not just work he's working to get money so all of us can have a good life. Yeah and it's it might not be a stereotypical job but Josh actually when I met him was working and he was working like I can't remember like twelve hour days, six days a week for really minimal money that it just wasn't worth it. Um, he could help with the organisation way more and I could not pay several different salaries for that. And yeah, like it just it's just not made sense. And he has actually, since I've been with him, started up several different businesses and things. And if anything, it's always me that's, it's not him, it's me that's dragged him away from them to come and help with other stuff that we're doing because I've needed his help and his time. And yeah, but he and does our, have... And our mummy's very beautiful. <laughs> I love you. Yeah, I have right. a small business. That is very handsome. I will show you one day when we pass there yeah. in a video. Are you handsome, like Daddy? Okay. Someone said I might be wrong, but I've never you've I've never seen you cuddling this little kid, or you don't like her. It's a boy. It's a boy. This one and is And it's not that I don't cuddle him, but he's less. You know, I kind of take the kids' lead a little bit on it. I'm not going to force something on them, and I do hug him quite frequently. But it just so happens the others come for hugs all the time like always want attention so you know like perhaps he doesn't want the hug so much you know every child is different and yeah but i do james Dees, does mommy give you cuddles yes, yes. <laughs> so remember you're only seeing very small snippets of our life here you're not seeing 24 or 7 so yeah there's lots that you miss um and someone said are you planning any mum and daughter time tally are we going to do anything you and me you and me, should we do something together? Yeah, I reckon so. I know what we she should do. She is not this quiet. She is the loudest member of this family. She is just I know not what we should do. What? So, in our old house, yeah? Hmm? Remember, we used to do a video where us four boys, yeah? Yeah, the boys well, day and the girls day. Yes, yeah. where we, we go with daddy to a fun place and you two go to another place, yeah? Mm -hmm. Where we could swap it around and... Do Daddy Daughter Day and Mummy Sunday. What I was actually thinking is we should do like individual dates. So Mummy will take Adam on a date, Mummy will take Tally on a date, and yes, James and George and, and Daddy will do the same. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That way, doing. like you take me, yeah, and then Daddy will take someone else. If uh, someone has asked, are we getting another child? Mm. Are we adopting any more children? Nope. Not mm. to the boy. Do you see how much people we have in this family? Exactly. How do we need more? Another well, then it, but then it brings us to the next question. Will you be trying, uh, the way this is phrased is not well, I know it's not meant badly, but will you be trying to have your own kids? It's better to ask, will you be having biological children? Because all of the children are ours, aren't you? Yes. Yes, I love you. When will you be giving us that British Ugandan baby? Oh, one more, Josh. Here we go. Josh, you can answer this question, I'm just gonna read this one to you. When will Josh have his biological children? You not serious. You are aging old. <laughs> and thanks. And later it will be difficult for you as a European lady to have babies. Yet on Josh's side, it's very essential to have babies in Africa. Biological children are part of one's wealth in the future. I'm, I'm very satisfied with the four. But if the right time comes, we'll have by the kid, yes? Excuse me, can you please answer, I'm aging old? She's very beautiful and she... Youthful forever, right? She's mm -hmm. not just she's going beautiful, to be beautiful she's forever. the most beautiful girl in the whole world! Uh, <laughs> Adam is the love of my life. <laughs> uh -huh. um, and people said it, this comment said that I'm not serious. Is it's like two no, anger. Mummy's the one who pays for our food and she's the one no. They're talking about having babies, it's not about food, darling. Um so yeah, Josh, is it all down to me? Like as if it's, it's as if it's me that's stopping. <laughs> oh anyway, whatever. Right, questions for the kids. Are we ready for the yeah! 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 Okay. Let's start with James. James, what's your favorite? Lecky's here, do you want to bring him up? Lecky wants to be in the video. Oh, here we go. Here he is. 
Here he is, like a fluffy teddy bear. Right, we're gonna start with James. James, what's your favorite animal? What is your favorite animal? <laughs> cat, dog, elephant. A cat. cat. Carly, what's your favorite animal? A horse? Is that her shoes? A horse. Uh, I didn't know. Tally, what were you going to say? Cobble. Cobble? Yeah. A dog. A dog. George, your favourite animal? A lion. A lion. Adam, your favourite animal? A cheetah. A cheetah. They're fastest the fastest animal. animal. Yeah. yeah. And they can literally, they're so fast, yeah? They, they, they run so fast. Faster than, faster than... The world's fastest man. Yeah, the world's uh, faster than men, yeah. Right, are we ready? Uh, Tally, what's your favourite game to play? And Dolly. And with dollies, right? Yes. What's your favourite game to play? Me, racing cars. Racing cars, yours? Mine is hide and seek tag. And James. James. Favourite game? Cars. Cars, right. Okay, it's your favourite colour. James, favourite colour? What is your favourite colour? Look at me, favourite colour? Cars. Favorite what is colour? your favorite colour? Blue, white, green, red. Blue. Tell me favorite colour. Pink. You knew that one. George. Green. Adam. Blue. Fun fact is I've kind of colour coordinated these children and everything I get for them tends to be in these colours. So Adam is always blue. George is always green. Tally is always pink. And James is usually orange, red. It kind of depends what is the fourth colour that's available. Um, even when it comes to their towels, <laughs> everything, they're colour coordinated. Right, and last one, your favourite foods. James, what's your favourite food to eat? Rice. Tally? Mm -hmm. What's your favourite food? <coughs> Matoke. 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 George, favourite food to eat? Bosho beans with rice. Bosho beans and rice. Adam? Adam? French fries. Chips, I knew that was going to be his answer. Okay. <laughs> last question, Daddy. Sharon has asked us what keeps us going in our hardest times. Hmm? What keeps us going in our hardest times? The love. Each other. The love for the each other, for the children. Mm -hmm. This That's one fishing. makes it very hard to ever be down. Doesn't let you. Yes! Mm -hmm. All my babies. All my babies. I love you. I love you. Anyway, that's it for this video. I know the children have kept it very quiet, but and also make sure to give a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Exactly. If you haven't, subscribe Especially to our channel. Next week we'll be sharing part two of this Q and A to answer the rest yes. of their questions. So such make as... sure to subscribe yeah. to our channel yeah. and comment down below. Yeah, exactly. Comment down below. Especially if there's any other questions that may have not been asked on the post that you want to know that you want us to put in next week's. And don't forget, but never we, go up. But we will be answering questions about Dan, about being vegan, how the kids are getting on at school, and all that in the next part of this Q&A. So yes, thank you so, thank much, you for so much for watching. And make sure to give a big too. thumbs up and, and comment down below. Yes. Who's better in this family? <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Came along, couldn't look away Somehow you turned my life completely upside down